Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Lavinia and I post beauty videos regarding makeup and skincare three times a week, every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So I've been a content creator for the past seven years. I am currently working um, at a biotech skincare company in a research and development internship. And um, I've also been struggling with hormonal and cystic acne for the past seven years. So through that, I have really indulged myself in all things makeup and skincare and learning about skin and how to embrace skin insecurities, acne, and really spreading acne positivity each and every day. So that's a little bit about me and my channel. And if that's something you're interested in, I would love for you to join by hitting the big red subscribe button. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a skincare trial. I do a ton of these here on my channel. And it's basically where I pick out a skincare product. We test out for two weeks on my acne prone, dry, sensitive skin. And we really see what the product is all about. If I like it, if I don't, would I recommend it and all of that. So today we are going to be starting a trial on the Anculus Rose Hip Oil. So I am currently in the process of testing a bunch of products out from the Anculus. So you'll probably see a lot of these videos on my channel already and also coming up. And this oil right here, I've been really interested to try because it can definitely help with acne scarring, which being acne prone, I do have a lot of scarring left behind. So I'm very excited to get into this. We're going to be testing this out for two weeks, um, mostly in my nighttime routine. So let's get right on into this. Oh, you tell me stories You tuck me in And the second you leave I call you right back To check for monsters in my streets so to start off, I'm going to do some product information. Like usual, let's see what this product is all about. So it is the rosehip oil and it is formulated for all. It says all, including oily, which I like that they put that there because if you have oily skin, you might be a little bit, um, you know, scared to try this product because it is an oil, um, but it is still good for oily skin. We even have the Allure stamp of Best of Beauty, um, you know. I don't love everything Allure puts on their website. And then it says it's gonna help to smooth skin texture. I definitely would say I have definitely more textured skin. Um, so I'm definitely excited to see how that can help. And what I love about the Inculus is how consumer friendly they are in their instructions. So as we can see by the bottom here, it does say that it is a moisture step. So you're gonna actually apply this after your moisturizer. And then it is a night treatment as we can see by the little moon there. So let's go ahead and open this up. Um, this retails for for $10.99 for 30 milliliters, so super affordable like always with the inky list. So what is rosehip oil? So rosehip oil is a rich oil. It's a powerful antioxidant. If you don't know what an antioxidant is, it helps fight free radical damage from environmental stressors. For example, vitamin C is a antioxidant. They can be really helpful for the skin. Um, and this is extracted from the seeds of the native rose plant and it helps to improve skin tone, texture, and pigmentation. So I'm probably gonna mostly target that pigmentation with my acne scars. And uh, as I said, PM product, after moisturizer and it says you can also use this on your hands nails cuticles or any areas to relieve dry and cracked skin so that's really interesting to hear because sometimes these like pigmentation or acne scar treatments can actually be pretty drying because they are pretty intense to get rid of that pigmentation so I like that this is more of a nurturing oil that can bring moisture and hydration into my skin and this product right here is actually just 100% pure rosehip oil I'm just looking at their website right now and then um, it contains um, omega-6 fatty acids to help prevent flaky skin but that's really all it's made up of is that fruit oil with this product we're gonna be targeting hyperpigmentation scarring uneven skin tone and dry skin i really like to see that because i do have that pigmentation and scarring but i also do have very dry and sensitive skin um i'm very interested to see how that will play with that sensitivity of my skin but i'm hoping all is well and it contains linoleic acid which helps to regulate oil production for those with oily or blemish prone skin that's really interesting because i think that sebum production is very important but i definitely think it's good to not overstrip your skin if this can also help with hydration that's a very good balance so i've actually never used rosehip oil on my face but i've heard so many great things so i'm definitely excited to get into it so now that we've kind of had all the information on the product i'm gonna go take off my makeup do my skin routine apply my moisturizer all of that and then we will go ahead and apply this product 
All right guys, so I am back with a cleansed and prepped a face. I'm going to be using the polyglutamic acid, the niacinamide and the Simbrite moisturizer before I apply this oil. Okay, so my skincare is on and let's just look at my skin real quick. So I do have some hormonal breakouts going on around my mouth, but this rosehip oil will mostly target like pigmentation. So it might help with the pigmentation in those breakouts right now. But over here, I do have a lot of scarring as you can see, especially this one point is like, has been there for so long some scarring over here too so that's really what i'm trying to target so let's go ahead and take this so it's like an yellow orange oil i don't know how much to take as you can see there oh it's dripping i'm just gonna massage this in my hands and kind of i don't know if i should press it in or it smells like olive oil <laughs> but a little more tea-like. That's the best way I can describe it. Does feel pretty oily, but we're gonna trust the process with this. Put it on the forehead. I'm gonna take it down the neck a little bit. It doesn't hurt to have that hydration. My skin definitely does feel very hydrated. This is giving me like flashbacks. I used to apply vitamin E all over my face when I was like 13. So it's really feeling like that. It kind of smells like it too. So I'm feeling a little greasy. I hope this does absorb a little bit before I go to sleep so it doesn't get like all over my pillow, but we'll see about that. Feels pretty good actually on the skin. It definitely feels like hydrating. I've never used an oil like this, so I'm definitely interested to see how it works. But this is day one of using the rosehip oil and I will update you guys very soon. All right, guys, so it has officially been two weeks since I have been using the rose hip oil from the Inculus, and I'm here to give you my final thoughts and impressions. So honestly, I was a little bit scared to get into the skincare trial just because I had never used a face oil um, really ever since I was younger. Um, I used to like slather vitamin E on my face all the time. And this was kind of like the first time I use an oil now being, you know, a little bit more um, educated as far as skincare goes and knowing um, what works well for my skin. But I have to say I really enjoyed this and rosehip oil kind of took me a little bit by surprise with how much um, benefits it has and how it can actually work with acne prone skin and oily prone skin even though it might be a little bit scary since it is an oil so i did want to zoom you guys in to take a look at my skin right now so i'm actually really enjoying it and i think with this whole inky list routine that i've kind of been building um these past few weeks i've just really seen a difference in the luminosity of my skin and how that's all looking now with this oil right here it has been really nice just to kind of slather it on at night i go to bed looking um like a glazed donut but in the morning i just find it, i wake up and my skin doesn't feel like greasy or anything i find that this actually sinks in pretty fast uh, I would recommend not going to bed like right away after you put it on because it will just get all, all over your pillow. I would say apply, you know, at least like half an hour before you would typically go to sleep. But in the morning, my skin doesn't still feel like it has the oil on it. It just feels very hydrated and moisturized. Um, now, because you are applying this as your last step on top of a moisturizer, I do kind of want to talk about that. So the two moisturizers I've been kind of using these past few weeks have been these two from the Inky List, the Simbrite moisturizer, as well as the Omega Water Cream. Now between these two moisturizers, the Omega Water Cream is definitely a better fit for my skin. Uh, I really like the feel of it and everything, but I find that with this oil for some reason, my skin, like when I wake up in the morning, my skin feels a little bit tight and dehydrated. And that may just be because this is such a lightweight moisturizer. So whenever I have been using this oil, Oil, I would like to pair it up with the Simbrite moisturizer because this one has a little bit more of that thicker consistency and I find the oil sits really nicely on top of it but other than that I think my skin has been benefiting from this I would definitely keep this in my routine just using it you know every few nights just a few times a week kind of to get those benefits I think it's really good for you know a lot of different reasons it can help with that dryness which i have in my skin it hasn't sensitized my skin which i have sensitive skin so that was a bit of a worry for me and it can even help with those acne scars and everything like that and just the overall appearance of the skin which i've definitely seen so do i think it's like a revolutionary ingredient that will you know completely change your skin no but it's something that you can add into your routine 
that won't really affect other products that won't sensitize your skin and can have multiple benefits so i think it can be very suiting for a lot of different people with different skin types and i think if you have oily skin or acne prone skin don't be afraid to try rosehip oil in your routine so i honestly really enjoyed this and i definitely am going to continue using it so that's kind of my final update guys i hope you enjoyed and found this video helpful if you were looking into the rosehip oil from the inky list but if you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time i upload a new video and if you're liking these skincare trials and want to see more i'll list my whole playlist down below because we've done so many of these videos on here um, but if you want to see more content from me you can even go check me out on the acne channel i'm a weekly host on there so if you yourself are an acne warrior or just love you know educational skincare videos definitely go check out that channel it is awesome and for more daily content you can go follow me on instagram and tiktok at lavinia rasonda so hope you guys are having a fantastic day or night whenever you're watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys oh you tell me stories you tuck me in And the second you leave I call you right back To check for monsters in my sheets